you can find the canal break fluid used in the video under the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever. And open the bonnet. You should now be able to see the brake fuel liquid reservoir on your vehicle. Open the brake fluid reservoir. If you're completely draining the brake liquid circuit, you'll have to start by draining the used liquid with the help of a pump. Then, fill the reservoir with new liquid to the maximum level. You can find the canal type of brake fluid recommended for your vehicle under the link in the description. When you train the brake liquid circuit, there's an order that has to be followed. On this vehicle, the order is as follows. Back wheel passenger side. Back wheel driver side. Front wheel passenger side. Front wheel driver side. You have to successively lever each part of your vehicle, then remove the wheel to be able to access the drain point. Loosen the rear wheel studs. Lift the rear of your vehicle. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. To bleed the brake fluid on your vehicle, you need to remove the wheels to gain full access. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. Before starting, release the handbrake, otherwise the operation will be impossible. Remember to protect the floor by placing a fluid collection tray. Once the wheel has been removed, you can access the pleater valve which is located at the rear of the drum above the brake hose. Start by removing the stopper cap using a flathead screwdriver. Using a wire brush, clean the drain before applying penetrating oil to ensure that you don't break the drain if it is rusted. There are several tools for bleeding the brake fluid. A spanner, a plastic tube and a canister may be enough. You can also use brake bleed wrenches connected to a tube equipped with an anti-return system which prevents air from returning to the system. The rear bleeder valves are unscrewed using an 8mm spanner. Once the bleeder valve is open, simply pump the brake pedal gently to bleed the air from the system and replace old with new fluid. Regardless of the tool you use, it is important to regularly add brake fluid to the brake fluid reservoir to prevent air from entering the master cylinder. Once the system has been bled, when clear, bubble-free liquid flows, all you need to do is close the bleeder valve and disconnect the tool. Remember to clean the bleeder valve with brake cleaner to remove all traces of brake fluid. Then put the bleed cap back on. Then you can put the wheel back on your vehicle and put it back on the ground. For the front calipers, perform the same operation using an 8mm spanner. Remember to add brake fluid to the brake fluid reservoir regularly. Once all four wheels have been bled, fill the reservoir with new fluid to the maximum level. Once bleeding is complete, make sure your brakes are working properly. The brake pedal should feel hard when pumped without being spongy. Please note, if you have any doubts about the effectiveness of your braking system, do not use the vehicle. On models equipped with an ABS, air may be trapped in the hydraulic control unit of the anti-lock braking system. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.